Hello, 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 my sassy soul sisters and friends. Oh, welcome back, Sassy here. And we have another unboxing for you today. And we actually have a new box to my channel. Um, yeah, I, I've been kind of like, I don't wanna say researching it, but I've seen this box on other channels and I kinda liked it. And then I couldn't find it for a hot minute. And then I think I found <laughs> the right, um website for it so yeah it came in today and i believe this was about like a familiar box or it was about cats and i was just like yes i need to have that one in my life so it came like this but i did fight with it because literally it's like super taped everywhere so i'm like i don't want to fight on camera so i got this far i didn't take anything out this is what it looks like so we're gonna just Oh, it's a box inside of the box, okay. Wasn't sure if that's how that was. All right, so we have with us today the Witch's Broom Closet March Witch Box and it's Cat Witch. So you know your girl, your girl ain't in this box, okay? Because you just already know how I feel about my kitties. And it came taped too, so I'll tell you one thing, it definitely came secured because it was in that priority shipping box and then in this box. There we go. And this came from Florida. So this place is located in Florida. All right, I wasn't sure. I don't know why I thought it was from the UK for some reason, but nope. Right here in the States from Florida, but so cute. And this box, Oh man, I forgot how much it was. I will leave it in the description for you guys along with the, um, I'll start putting that somebody asked me. I used to do it before, but then I was just like, <laughs> kind of like they ain't paying me to do this. So why am I doing that? But I'll be nice. I'll start putting the links in the description. And um, if you guys are interested in a box or whatever, and if you end up getting one because you saw this here, just be like, Sassy Stacy sent me. <laughs> <laughs> let them know who sent you, girl. Let them know. Yeah, let's get right into it. So when we open it, it looks like this. Piece of bubble wrap on top. This looks like it could be... It says, Welcome to the Witch's Broom Closet Witch Box by Sister Spellbinders, the subscription box without the subscription. That was another thing I liked about this is... um. You could just get a one-time box. You could get a subscription and get all the boxes. I just did a one-time because I wanted to check them out. Um, I want to thank you for your order, for you ordering this lovely box. Below you will find a list of items in this box and what they are used for. I hope you enjoy the items in this box and hope you find these items useful in your craft. Here is where you will stop if you want to be surprised by what's inside and come back later to the list if not, continue to see the items that are listed in the box. All right, so we are gonna stop, because you know we like to be surprised. Oh, we have an oracle card that is really pretty, like fire and ice, reminds me of. And it's believe. You're being asked to fully believe in yourself and your dreams. It's time for that idea that's lived inside your heart to be brought into the world so others can benefit from it. Believe that you can bring it to life and you will do exactly that. I couldn't tell you how fitting this card is right now. Like y'all know, like if you watch me, you know what's been going on. But, so my dream job, and you guys are gonna probably laugh at this, but like literally my like dream job, and I used to say this all the time, like before YouTube and everything, I would love, and not to be like the shop owner, but you know those boutiques you see online and then you see all the girls trying on the stuff and you know, they're the ones that you buy from. They try on the clothes for you, they explain the clothes. I wanna be one of those girls, okay? I wanna be one of those girls that get to try on clothes all day and tell you about them and how they make me feel and that's what I wanna do. That's what I wanna do. So I have lots and lots of boxes from my uh, little manic spree, I'm gonna call it, from December, January, and February, maybe even a couple from March. Um, a whole pile on my floor downstairs and I am going to do a huge unboxing and I was gonna see if you guys wanted me to do an unboxing where I actually try on, probably not all the clothes, but like, 
for the most part, try on the clothes. Maybe, you know, like, who knows? Maybe my future employer will watch <laughs> and be like, yes, we need a plus. Because that's something I noticed. All these boutiques, all the girls that try on the clothes, they're, they're in great shape. They, you know what I mean? They look great, whatever. But you don't have any plus size girls. You don't have any large, extra large girls on there. And I'm a large, extra large girl. So I feel like that would bring you even more business because I'm going to try on the clothes that they see on smaller girls. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like we need more diversity in the boutique world and I want to be your diversity. Yes. So that's just me. Anywho, look how cute this is. This is so cute. This is a cute little picture. Beautiful witch chilling with her familiar. But yeah. Oh, this, look at this vintage looking. Oh my God. I love this. I love, that looks like my Hopi <sighs> when she was a kitty. Cat witch. Oh, this is so, I love, oh, and look at the back. The witch's broom closet. That's, there you go, right there. Um, if you wanna check them out. But what is this? The origins. The term cat witch typically refers to a mythical or folklore figure associated with magical abilities or supernatural powers. Often depicted as a person with a strong connection to cats. The origin of the cat witch archetype are multifaceted spanning various cultures and historical contents ancient and folklore origins ancient egypt cats held immense significance in ancient egypt society revered as sacred animals associated with the goddess bastet one of my favorites bastet depicted with a cat's head symbolized fertility protection and domesticity some believe that the association between cats and magic might have its roots in Egypt mythology. I believe that too. Then there's the European folklore, the integration and in folk beliefs, transformation in modern culture. So all kinds of information and another beautiful picture. And then we have characteristics of a cat witch, mystical knowledge. Oh, so all kinds of just great info, symbolism and inter. What does that say? Interpretative -pre -pre visions? I don't know. That word is kind of like lost. Correspondences, herbs, the zodiac sign, deities and spirits, colors, all kinds of info. A prayer to invoke the energies, guidance and blessings of a cat spirit. I just realized I'm not even in frame. <laughs> Feline protection spell. Oh, that is so cool. Cat familiar dedication ritual. Oh, I love this. Lunar connection meditation. So all kinds of great info in this little booklet. So that's really nice. I like that. Let me put this over here. I love that. The witch's broom closet. Angel sister spellbinder so angel's the owner okay for all your witchy needs life's a witch and then you fly <laughs> i love that that is so freaking cute life's a witch and then you fly come sit for a spell all right so that's cool that's a little business card i'm already liking this oh my goodness do you peep this like it's little cats and flowers how freaking cute is this paper and she has a stamp that says, thank you. Oh, it's just beautiful. That is beautiful. I'm trying to. All right. I don't know, it looks like lots of goodies, guys. Lots of goodies in here. I'm so sad I have to rip this <laughs> tissue paper because it's so cute. <sighs> oh my God, it's so adorable. Something in this box smells really good. I don't know what it is, but I already smell it and it smells so good. Oh my God, is this a little sun catcher? Oh, it is. It's so pretty. Hold on, let me take this out for you guys. So my girl Peta, she sent me a video of her unboxing from um, a shop on Etsy 
and I was just like, wow, that was like, oh wow. So that's another place I might check out in the future too. Please tear off the protective film. Okay, so that must be, oh, I see it. She started it for me. Oh, it's even more vibrant. Wow, look at that. That is so beautiful. I love that. And then it came with the string to hang it up. I don't know if I wanna put that in my sunroom or if I wanna put that in my big picture window, but that is beautiful. Oops, I'm knocking things over. So we got that beautiful sun texture. All right, moving on. Looks like we have a tapestry or an altar cloth. Oh, this is big. This is huge. Holy crap. All right. Let me let me see. It says the magician. And I'm actually gonna take you guys off of this real quick. So you guys can get the full. It's a kitty. It's a kitty with the candles. That is huge. Little black kitty. And <laughs> my kitty's over there. Say hi, Finn. What's the matter? <laughs> So there's Finn on a cloth <laughs> right there for you all to see. All right. Wow. All right. So we have that. I'm gonna put that right here. Put that on top. Then we have some catnip from Magical Properties, Luck, Love, Friendship, Happiness, Beauty, Psychic, Enchantment, attract, Attracting, Benevolent Spirits. I can never say that. It's malvoyant and benevolent, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say, that word right there. Funny, um, my catnip just started growing in the winter. It didn't grow all summer long, and then in the winter, it was just like, here I am. Oh, this is cute, non. No, no. No way. Cute little tarot like stickers. I'm starting to think this might not be the same company that I was thinking it was, but I, <laughs> I like it better. I'm not even lie. <laughs> oh, we got a little lollipop. Lollipop, lollipop. A little purple lollipop. And then we have. Rose Lemonade Fruit Flavored Infusion. Okay. By appointment to HRH, the Prince of Wales. Okay. Suppliers of beverages, tailors of Harrogate, North Yorkshire. Since 1886, tailors. This floral infusion is a sunny celebration of rose petals and citrus for the perfect cup. Okay. And that's probably to like dip it in, I'm assuming, maybe, possibility. I got some nice rose, rose lemonade. I don't know why I wanna call it rose, but I am. And then I see these in the back, some chakra incense. It says, Pores de limpieza, cleaning powers in English. <laughs> I tried, <laughs> cleaning powers. So let's see what these smell like. You guys know, I'm not really a fan of hem. I mean, I do have some hem incense that smell like, right, but sometimes the smells are just like, oh, this one actually smells pretty. Mm, I'm like, it smells okay. It smells okay. These are definitely ones that we will burn in like the garage to mask the hubby cigarette smoking because they're like kind of potent but it says mumbai bangalore i was trying to see handcrafted in india all right so we got some incense 
I don't know what to do next. This keeps calling my name, but I feel like I want to save it, but then I'm just like, nope, I'm going to open it. Nope. This is such a pretty, that looks a diamond. Your girl's diamond. And then it's a potion. We got the moon, the stars, a fire, clouds, and like all this prettiness. This is just a cool, the moon, the star. I don't know, it's just a cool little canister. I'm thinking it's a candle. And it is. Look how pretty. Wow. All kinds of prettiness in there. I see amethyst and quartz and maybe, was that tiger? I or smoky court. Oh, look at somebody. Somebody wanted to say hi. Do you belong up here, Hope? Hey, she smells something she likes. It's probably the catnip. Oh, that smells so good too. It smells, it smells like a cupcake. It smells really good and it's pretty. It's got some herbs on there. I'm sure she'll tell us all about it in the um in the content list. Girl, you know you know better. You don't belong up here. Get down. Come on. Oh, there's no bags for you to eat. Get, get down. Get down. Yeah, that's what she's doing. She's looking for a mesh bag to eat. I can't. No, she's rolling around. I can't let her. She's like, look at me. I'm so pretty. <laughs> How dare you yell at me to get off the table? Oh, I don't know. It's almost time for the bubble wrap song because I think I'm gonna. <laughs> I can't. Here we go. Here we go. I'm making some progress. All right. What do we have? We have. Oh, freaking! How cute is this little charm? We have the witch's broom closet black cat oil used for luck break a curse protection and chances psychic abilities oh okay i don't own any of this so that's interesting and it has like a kind of um i don't know if you guys can see it but it kind of looks what do you call it like sparkly yeah, if you guys can see that that's cool i don't have any of that nice this is such a cute freaking box. Oh my goodness. Oh, let me put that back there so I can open that up later. Um, all right, you're sitting on top, so. And like everything is packaged in this cute paper with the little purple noodle doodles at the end. So you guys already know I'm all about details and she's definitely winning in the detail department with me. I don't know why. This reminds me of a cat pooper scooper for some <laughs> Oh, it's so cute. It's a freaking spatula. That is adorable and something I don't have. I mean, I don't have a cat one. Like what? Manufactured hardware products. Uh, to avoid danger of suffocation. Yeah, we know they aren't. I'm hoping that I can use this. I must, right? I must be able to use that in a pan. But yeah, look at how cute. Isn't that adorable? Like, how can you not be happy cooking with this? Look at her. She's like scheming over there. Look at her. She's scheming. She's like, what can I go over there and sniff? And what can I go and touch? This is freaking cute. This box is adorable. I'm like, I'm so happy I got this box right now. All right, we got a cute little fancy, I call this a little fancy bang, a fancy satchel. Oh, I think there's, uh, so funny. I never got a bag like this, and this is the second one I got with the little cute um, scalloped edge. What I call it, a fancy sack. <laughs> Ooh, we have some gemstones. Okay, these are like funky looking. They're very, uh, bright they look like maybe glass colored i don't know we have purple green yellow blue 
I'm gonna leave these right here and we're gonna talk about those at the end because I'm not sure. They might be just like sea glass. That's that's the word I was looking for. All right, so it looks like we have two things left in here. Let me make sure. Yes. All right. So we'll open this one next. Leather trap. Oh, get out. This is adorable. It's a freaking keychain, but it's a little leather journal. Are you kidding me right now? Wait, is that part of it? Because I don't want to cut it if it is. I'm thinking it is. So let's not cut it. And of course, I can't. We're going to cheat. I'm <laughs> like, we're just going to cheat because I don't have the patience to try and do that right now. Yep. I'm like, yep, that's how we're doing it. All right. Actually, I don't even know if this black thing was part of it. Is it? Oh, it's not. <laughs> Whatever. I could have cut it, but I didn't know, so now I know. But anywho, it has the triple moon on it. I'm just going to, like, slide this one off. Oh, it's part of it. Okay. So that one is part of it. And it's a freaking mini BOS. Are you shitting me? Are you kidding me right now? Like, that is so freaking adorable. And then you would wrap this back around. What? I'm going to cut this black string off. Though. I'm going to cut this one off. It would be so much easier if I had scissors on me. All right. I'm not going to cut it off because my knife is horrendous. There we go. All right. all right, all right, all right, all right. Like, what? That is just so freaking cute. I don't know. That is adorable. All right, and then last but not least. I think I'm gonna have to get the April box too. I don't even know what the thing is, but. What is this? Let's open it up and find out. It says rune on it. I don't know, I'm having a little trouble opening. Open. <laughs> like just a little trouble. That's definitely. All right. Wait, is this rune dice? Oh, it's rune dice. What? I want it tells you how to use it. And it came with a little cloth bag to keep your dice in which honestly I wish all tarot and oracle cards did that just because I just think and then it comes with some clear pieces of paper and then your dice and they're magical looking they look like like the universe so I do have divinational dice but it's not like these it's not runes at all and I think this is so I've never seen rune dice before this is so freaking cool this box was so stinking cool oh my god 
and it comes with a little pamphlet, Earth Matrix cast, Trine Matrix cast. Okay, quick reference, and I wonder if the references are. Um, so the ones that I do know, it's similar. Yeah. The um. Yeah, it's pretty similar. Oh, and then there's patterns, basic principle positions, before divination, components, instructions. Cool, something new to learn. I love it. I still haven't even played with my, um, the ones that Witch's Roots made us last year with the tree ones, the Ogums. I don't even know how you say it, but that is cool. I will definitely be using those because I've been using my runes a lot lately. So let's see. We have Witch's Divination Candle which is right here. And it's topped with crystals, lavender, catnip, and rosemary, amethyst, clear quartz, and tiger's eye, crystal chips, and star charm. A strong protective and psychic power candle that forms a shield against negativity around you. It blocks psychic attacks and absorbs negative energies from the environment. While performing divination, it helps open the third eye so you can receive clear communication from guides. With the use of this candle, please use fire safety when candle is in use. As herbs can burn, keep away from anything that can catch fire and away from children and pets. Super cute. And I love that she gave a product list because you guys know that is like one of my biggest pet peeves if you don't. Then we have our black cat oil. Black cat oil is used. And like how cute is it with a little charm? Um, to reverse bad luck and negative energies, magical reversing spells, money drawing spells, and for gambler's luck. The oil can be used in a variety of ways in bath rituals, to dress candles, etc. Be sure to shake well too before use. Each oil is handcrafted infusing botanicals, herbs, essential oils, fragrances, and other materials in a carrier oil and imbued with magical energy. We have that rose lemonade tea with lavender honey spoon oh that's what this is this is a lavender honey spoon i kind of wondered because i know a lot of honey sticks come on like these things that's super cute would make an excellent tea to brew a cup before springtime rituals great to use during star rituals and spell workings to open the connection to the divine source deep in instructions and she gives us that I told a few people, I literally celebrate Ostara until the end of April. Like, Ostara is from March until the end of April for me. I, I do all things Ostara all month long. I don't even care. Incense of the month, cleaning powers by hem to use as cleansing magical smoke during rituals and spell working, which is right here. Then the cute little cat spatula for the cat kitchen witch to use in kitchen with cookery. So I just, she's freaking cute. I think that is just so adorable. And then we have witchy wearable book of shadows keychain. Use on the go to write your rituals and spell workings in. I think this would be perfect for me for drawing my own personalized runes because I've actually been trying to make runes for um for certain people. So yeah. I, I think that's what I'm going to use that for. Once I get the right rune the way I want it, I, this will be my like final resting place for all my runes. I don't know why, but that, that just seems fitting for me. Then we have the art print right here. Then we have our personal oracle message card, which honestly, this was meant for me, I feel like. Um, I love it. And it was drawn for you while in meditation with my guide see what message was meant for you each time i wish i kind of knew what deck this is if anyone has this deck let me know i like that um witch cat sun catcher which was one of the first things i opened and she's beautiful just look at her she's so pretty i love it i'm gonna hang it up as soon as i'm done um Acrylic sun catcher has a protective film on both sides. Oh, it's on both sides. Good to know. I don't know if it's on this side. I feel like this side is already off. But I'll mess with it later. 
um, Magic Cat Tat Tapestry, which I showed you guys. Dive into the mystical allure of dark elegance with our black cat indoor wall tapestry. Perfect for those who cherish the enchanted blend of sacred geometry and the occult. This tapestry transforms any bedroom, living space, or dorm room into a captivating sanctuary of your own design. It's not just decor. It's a portal to an aesthetic realm where magic meets material. Witch's Rune Divination Dice, Simplified How To. Oh, and then she just simplified it in here on how to, but I think these are so freaking cute, these dice. Um, cat eye agate crystals, cat eye gemstones. Oh, these are cat eye agate crystal cat eye gemstones from under metamorphic and ingenious ingenious conditions, making them a testament to Mother Earth's transformative powers. The cat's eye enjoys a lengthy history that stretches back to ancient civilizations. In Indian Vedic astrology, it is associated with the spiritual planet K2 and has been used as a talisman against the evil eye. Europeans in the Middle Ages believed it offered protection against evil witchcraft and evil spirits. This stone aligns with the solar plexus chakra, thought to bolster courage, self-confidence, and personal power. This gemstone is closely linked with the earth element embodying stability and grounding. So is she talking about all of them though? These are all cat's eye. I don't own cat's eye, but I can kind of see why it would be called that because of like that milky looking. That's interesting. I have to look that up when I'm off. And then catnip herb. This herb is often used in spells for love, beauty, and sensuality. When mixed with rose petals, it often used to make love satchels. It's also almost as good as attracting benevolent spirits as it attracts cats. Catnip is ruled by the planet Venus and the element of water and great as an offering for cat deities like goddess Bast and Freya. Hope you enjoy the magical box and find these items useful in your craft. Many blessings, the witch's broom closet, sister spellbinder. I have to say this box is really cute I didn't know what to expect and she didn't even put like that she gave us all this information too which I love companies that do that you guys know um, a lot of companies actually I shouldn't say a lot I only know of a few companies that give like information packets um and I love that like spiral rain does that gypsy from sacred vibes does that and I just I, I adore that but this was really cool. Um, I'm gonna go look these up because I don't own any cat's eye and I didn't, I don't know. I thought these were like glass, uh, sea glass. I can't even see. I mean, they're pretty and they're very springy. Um, favorite item, oh man, I don't know. I have to say, I really, I love candles. You guys already know that. So like the candle and thing that it's in is really pretty the candle's beautiful I like that I got something different I don't have any of this so this is really freaking cool for me I love the sun catcher I don't know why but I just love this I think it's so freaking cute this is also something different instead of you know like getting tea some lemonade with the honey lavender stick I mean so many good things and then the rune die, I mean, that is so freaking cool. This box, just like, I really enjoyed it. I have to say, I, I did. I wish I remembered how much I paid for it with, oh, and how cute this too. I mean, and the tapestry, um, the tapestry is cute. I do like to switch off my tapestries um, on my door and the one that I have hanging up downstairs, I switch them between the seasons. So this is cute. I feel like I would use it more towards like the fall months for some reason. I don't know, maybe the colors or whatever, but I do like it. I just, I liked all the things. I thought this was a really cool box. I got a lot of different things, which is hard for someone like me that gets all the boxes. <laughs> so I really, yeah, I really enjoyed this box and I'm sorry it took forever, but let me know would you guys like to see um an april box from her because i'm really thinking about going on there and grabbing one because i did enjoy this box very much and i like the way it was packaged she packaged it very securely i mean it was in <laughs> this box 
and then it was in that box and it was all taped up and everything was taped up nicely and packaged nicely so yeah I have to say I good experience um, with the witch's broom closet and I enjoyed this box very much so I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say about this box and also stay tuned because I mean my first vlog guys um, I haven't put it up yet because one I added music to it and you have to like you know put all that info on YouTube or else they'll take it down and I forgot to write down what song so I have to go back and figure out what songs I put where and all that jazz so I haven't posted it yet but um yeah I, I was feeling really down and I left work early one day and I decided to take myself out and then I decided you know what I'm gonna do my first vlog because I had a good experience somewhere but I'll I'll save that for the video but yeah um let me know when I finally put that up if that's something you guys would like to see more of um I'm thinking about trying to do like different things um so yeah let me know about this box first though I really I enjoy this box and I want to go cleanse these because I want to go I want to go play so yeah until next time my friends peace love spread some kindness but always stay a little sassy bye